It's easy to overlook these railings on London housing estates, but look out for the weird curve. These are recycled World War II stretchers. Hundreds and thousands of ARP stretchers were made to carry wounded civilians during the Blitz. Have you ever seen them? What's the story about this weird street name in London? Well, I'll tell you. This is Farringdon Road, and what you can't see today is actually there's a river underneath here. It's one of London's lost rivers, but go to this corner and you can still see it. It was covered in the 18th century, but still flows today underground. The reason behind this strange street name is because the river blocked the way, so you had to turn around again. On Marchmont Street, look down to spot the saddest sculptures in London. Let me explain. A short walk from here is Coram Fields, site of the Foundling Hospital opened in 1741 by Thomas Coram. It was a place where desperate mothers could leave babies that they just couldn't care for, and the original ledge still stands today. Often mothers left tokens so when their children were old enough they could be reunited, but from over 18,000 babies admitted, only 154 were ever reclaimed. The sculptures are an artwork by John Aldous in 2006. Although the Foundling Hospital closed in the 1950s, you can visit the brilliant Foundling Museum with some of the original rooms that tell the story of the hospital. Here's something that you might have never noticed on Tower Bridge. It's this chimney that's pretending to be a lamppost. It used to burn coal fires until the Clean Air Act in 1956 stopped that and it was connected to a guard's room under the bridge. You've probably never noticed this sneaky bit of history right by the Tower of London. This is a 1920s entrance to what was once the Tower Subway. Built in 1868, for a small fee you could sit in a carriage and be pulled by cables under the Thames. But following faulty lifts and one fatal accident, it became a pedestrian tunnel. Then when Tower Bridge opened and that was free, it closed for good. So now the tunnels are just used for water mains and communication cables. You probably know that London was founded by the Romans about 2,000 years ago, and there's evidence all over the city, but one of the weirdest places to find it is in this car park, where there's a section of wall from around 200 AD. This is London Bridge today, built 1970s, kind of boring. But if you head to this church, St Magnus the Martyr, you can see what it used to look like in medieval London. Old London Bridge was finished in 1209 and lasts until the 1830s, but what's shown here is mid-1400s. The model was built in the 1980s by David Adger, who was a retired policeman. Here he is. This open space in Bethnal Green is hiding an incredible bit of history. This is Arnold's Circus, centre of the Boundary Estate built in the late 1890s but it sits on top of the old Nicol slum, one of the worst in Victorian London. Amazingly, it's actually the rubble of this demolished slum housing that created this raised area. And today it's open to everyone and is a popular film and TV location.